Hi, Kiki here, and I am going to give you an overview of the Unplugged Activity Binary Bracelets. This is one of my favorites, and there's so many ways you can do it. You can use paper and pencil, you can use pipe cleaners and beads, or string and beads, you can use candy, there's all sorts of things that you can use to do this. But essentially, what you're trying to get across to the students is the idea that information can be encoded into a computer using just two choices. And in fact, the majority of uh, storage on a computer does use binary encoding. Now, sometimes it's magnetic positives and magnetic negatives. Sometimes it is uh, reflective or not reflective. There are all sorts of kind of binary options you can use to store information. But in this one, students will use ASCII code for uppercase letters and they will use binary to store their initials on something. So it can be on a bracelet, it can be on a uh, piece of paper that they frame, it could be anything. But the idea is you wanna get across this concept that they are storing their initial to their wrist or to their locker or whatever it might be. They're storing their initial the same way that a computer would store information. One of the big things that we do want to avoid here is that we do not go into this is base 2, this is base 10, this is how you convert bases. Uh, that's not what this is for and it does distract from this actual activity to go there now. If this is, a, by the way, that you want to add later after the lesson or as a completely separate lesson, that's perfectly fine. But by doing that inside of the lesson, it turns the lesson into something else and no longer makes it as effective for the idea of how you take information in the real world and store it down into zeros and ones in a computer. So I hope you find that helpful. Take a look at the lesson plan. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave comments down below or tweet me at Kiki versus IT. Happy coding.